All right, it's a great day to talk entertainment. Let's begin in the music scene where South African music producer DJ Maforisa has weighed in on the backlash against American rapper Sway Lee. Now, the heavyweight DJ shared a lengthy video from his Instagram Live where he called for unity between South Africans and Nigerians. Now, let's look at Sway Lee's tweet. Sway Lee made a tweet teasing new music, and he says, wait till you'll hear Sway Lee on Ama Piano. And he put the Nigerian flag. And it didn't sit well with South Africans who were quick to educate the American star on the origins of the Ama Piano sound. Although Sway Lee was quick to correct himself after several harsh comments, it seems Nigerians have also fueled uh, the feud uh, with comments insisting that Nigerian artists are spearheading the genre. Um, of course, it's global expansion and acceptance. Now, surprisingly, DJ Maparisa joined the conversation explaining how South Africans could learn from Nigerians. This is what he says. He says, um, everywhere they go, they move as a community. So when they move, they move with the culture. That's what's missing in South African artists because we're only moving with the sound. He added, for, uh, for me, I'm learning a lot from them. I'm getting inspired. So it just pains me when South Africans don't really understand. Now, another popular DJ, Prince KB, of course, a South African DJ, has reacted. Now, he's sharing similar sentiment. In fact, he says, you cannot gatekeep culture or else it won't grow. Without interpretation from someone outside, uh, what you have started there is um, there is no room for growth. Uh, he added more to that, but several South African fans have, didn't agree with him. In fact, some of them have said it's an insult to credit Ama Piano to another country. And uh, I will probably talk about this right after, uh, but let's go to this one. The Headies have dropped full nominations list ahead of its 16th award ceremony, and fans have reacted to the exemption of superstar Wizkid. Many are surprised that the Grammy Award winning singer, Born Ayodiji Balogun, was not included in the list of nominees at all. Now, reports circulating say it's the first time since 2011 that Wizkid has not received a nomination from the prestigious music awards. Um, there have been arguments that Wizkid's latest project, More Love, Less Ego, should have been considered for a nomination since it was released within the eligible period for the awards. Organizers have also denied claims that the Hedy's team declined Whiskey's music uh, after one, there was some Insta story that apparently we hear was photoshopped, of course, saying that Whiskey submitted, uh, but you know, they declined. On the other side, Burna Boy received the most nominations uh, on the list with a total of nine, no, what am I saying, 11 nominations, more than nine, including Album of the Year and Song of the Year, respectively. Now, this year, there's um, the addition of Special Recognition Award, uh, which will go to late rapper um, Sa Sam Sultan, uh, International Artist Recognition, which will go to Sean Cobbs, of course, PGD, and um, Hall of Fame, where there's recognition for you so endure. Now, let's move to this one. This one just dropped, and it's hot right now on socials. Videos have surfaced online of a rampage at Pokoli's recent show in Lagos, Nigeria. Now, the popular Nigerian dancer and musician was set to throw fans at Lagos State University last week until social media carried reports alleging uh, that there was violence at the event, with singer Bella Shmurder getting slammed and Odumodu Black running away. Now, the viral video sparked a series of reactions from Nigerians, with many condemning cultism and the students' actions. One video showed the cash up singer, which is right now on our screen, Bella Schmeida, uh, looking down as he's being led away into a bl waiting black Jeep. Another showed um, Hedy's um, Rookie of the Year nominee, Odumodu Black, uh, fleeing the scene. Uh, the host, Pokuli, was even seen lamenting about the incident in another video. Now, the homecoming concert by Pokuli, who is an alumnus of Lasso, turned out violent, and pictures and videos uh, have, have shown that people have um, sustained injuries from the attack. Uh, that's rather sad. We don't know exactly what must have caused it. Um, at some point, people were saying that maybe it was because the artists were not there in time and the, the guests, the fans, could not wait for these performances. Uh, but, of course, we don't support violence of any form. Finally, on the international scene, Netflix docuseries Harry and Meghan has just began or just got a nomination for a Hollywood Critic Award. Now, the Duke and Duchess of Success uh, got a nod in the Best Streaming uh, Nonfiction Series category. Now, recall that the six-part series broke streaming records as it became the Giants, of course, Netflix Giants, biggest documentary debut, clocking about 81.6 million hours viewed within the first four days of its release. Now, the series also received an equal amount of criticism. Um, some people cited the use of doctored and irrelevant footages uh, to the docuseries. Now, the award comes after the pair, uh, of course, both of them, lost a $20 million deal with Spotify. Uh, that was terminated a while ago. Uh, but the, the parents of two still have their deal with Netflix with plenty more projects in the pipeline. 
Emmy nominations have also dropped. And surprisingly, uh, the Harry and Meghan docuseries is totally absent from the list of nominees. Uh, even though the show was initially considered for outstanding documentary and non-fiction series, uh, it was not considered at all. They didn't bag any nomination. Uh, the couple who, of course, stepped down as senior members of the British royal family relocated to the U.S. in 2020 and have used their show, or their documentary, uh, to show their love story and the difficult decision of leaving the royal family. Uh, well, I don't know. People have, of course, different thoughts about Harry and Meghan. I think they're living their lives, and uh, we'll see what, what more story uh, they come up with. Honestly, I enjoyed the docuseries, I must confess. I, it was a good light. All right, where do we start from? Whiskey being exempted from the headies. What are your thoughts? I don't know if you call it an exemption. It's, it's not an exemption if you don't submit, you know, okay. uh, your your work for consideration. I, I don't know if you can call it an exemption. Um, he's not had, you know, anything in in, in his last um, in the last couple. Of, I mean, his last album didn't do exceptionally well, mm -hmm. um, but of course, you know, it was still a, you know pretty decent album, right. um, and it's fine. I mean, it's it's. I think we oversensionalize these things you know, every now and then. You know, now that it's you said that, it's actually fine. It's okay. Now that you said that, I'm probably going to pull up a tweet that someone had put out earlier. Uh, but talking about his project, well, more love, less ego. Do you agree, Olive? You didn't like it as much as other whiskey projects. Well, I'm indifferent. No, I like it. I'm just saying it didn't do as well as you know. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm indifferent. I think whiskey is super talented, mm -hmm. right? And. I think when we when we go back, I, I can't really say much about More Love, Less Ego. I don't think I listened to the whole album. I know a couple songs from the album, mm -hmm. but I think he's talented, and um, I'm not. I'm never really caught up in that whiskey, Obio, Burner uh, Boy <laughs> fanfare. I don't have energy for that. I think I get nobody pregnant. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs>